Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video looking at beliefs in society, focusing on religious fundamentalism. Well, many sociologists have argued that there has been an increase in secularization since the birth of the modern age. Others argue that a society has progressed towards a postmodern age, and with increased globalization in society, there's been an increase in religious fundamentalism. But what do we mean by religious fundamentalism? Almond defined fundamentalism as a pattern of religious militancy, a form of religion, uh, especially Islam or Protestant Christianity, that upholds belief in the strict, literal interpretation of scripture and demands adherence to these interpretations from followers. Fundamentalism is direct opposition to the idea of secularization, and it's often simplified into a conflict approach between believers and non-believers who are seen as the other, a term often used to describe people on the outside of a group or faction. Now, there are a number of features of fundamentalist worship, and these are common to both Christian and Islamic fundamentalism. There is the presence of a sacred text, the Bible or the Quran, from which literal translations are applied to govern the behaviour of followers. There is a division between true believers and the other, a very divisive mentality pitting followers against non-believers. There is also the presence of authoritative personalities in leadership, and there is often patriarchal control in some of these groups, for example the Taliban and the New Christian Right. Many sociologists have attempted to discuss the reasons for the growth of fundamentalism. Grace Davy argues that the threat of modernity to traditional values leads to increased fundamentalism. Like Giddens, she argues that fundamentalism offers certainty and security against chaos of social change. And furthermore, her argument echoes that of the likes of Huntington by suggesting that fundamentalism is increasingly a clash of cultures that has been brought on by the acceleration of modernity and the impact of globalization. Giddens agrees with Davy that fundamentalism is a reaction to globalization. He suggests that the greater insecurity, particularly in employment, for example, the decline of traditional industries in Western nations, and the impacts of greater cultural diversity have led individuals to seek understanding. He suggests that religion offers simple answers to complex questions and that this is achieved through blind faith and that the control and certainty offered by fundamentalism is an attractive option to many. It gives individuals a sense of belonging and purpose in otherwise uncertain times. Giddens further argues that fundamentalism has risen as a response to the increased reflexive thinking in individuals' lives and the rejection of traditional religions. In opposition to fundamentalism, Giddens sees a form of cosmopolitanism, the impact of globalization and how it has increased acceptance of a diverse views and lifestyles, which is perceived as being a threat to traditional religion. In contemporary society, people are guided by individual morality and have increased choice, rather than having to adhere to authoritarian beliefs of traditional religions. And fundamental is a reaction to the growth of these more liberal ideas. Steve Bruce also examined the growth of fundamentalism, suggesting that it is largely confined to monotheistic religions, such as Islam and Christianity, that have one all-powerful God. For Bruce, the process of globalisation and the increased choice of lifestyles has increased acceptance of diverse views, which is perceived as a tra threat to traditional religion. In contrast, polytheistic religions, those that believe in more than one God, are more open to changes as they have never had one singular truth about the world and this has been part of their culture and beliefs for many years. Bruce has gone further to look at the differences in fundamentalism across religions, arguing that there is a global divide in fundamentalism. Christian fundamentalism is a reaction to social changes that occur organically. For example, the focus of the new Christian right in the USA reacting to social changes such as same-sex marriage and women's control over their reproductive rights. As a consequence, 
they look to revert to more conservative values as they see these social changes as a threat to their way of life. Other forms of fundamentalism are reactions to forms of enforced social change, or what some may refer to as cultural imperialism. And this can be seen through reactions to globalization from terrorist groups with fundamentalist religious views, rejecting Western norms and values that are imposed upon them. For example, the education of girls in certain parts of the world being rejected by fundamentalist religious groups. Now, the ideas of Bruce Gins and Davey on the links between globalization and the rise of fundamentalism do have some merit. Castell supports Bruce's idea of fundamentalism as a reaction to cultural imperialism. Fundamentalism offers people an opportunity to develop a resistance identity. However, not all sociologists agree. Armstrong suggested that fundamentalism is contemporary rather than reactionary, embracing elements of globalization, such as the use of technology in order to engage with its adherents and grow its membership. A further evaluation is that the rise of fundamentalism has occurred in times of rapid social change, and this provides evidence that it gives certainty in times of chaos. There was an increase in fundamentalism in the pre-globalization era, in the 1960s and 1970s, for example, in the Middle East. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on beliefs in society, looking at religious fundamentalism. Thanks for watching.